Hello everyone. Uh, I work on a project called the Collaborative Spelling Dictionary. It was a Wikimedia extension. An extension is a thing that can be used in any wiki. So a lot of you are from some of the other open source organizations. And a lot of open source organizations use wikis or fabricator or in, you know, a lot of things in order to manage your work. Like some of them use GitHub. So for all of those which use any kind of wiki, like even conference, can use extensions. So a brief introduction. Uh, I'm Ankita Shukla. Those are my contact details. You can either contact me on Twitter or drop me a mail if you have any doubt. Uh, I'm a volunteer at MediaWiki. I develop things. I contribute. I'm, uh, I, I, I do it all voluntarily. And other than this, I'm also a student at the Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. I'm pursuing computer science. I'm an undergrad right now. Uh, yeah. So before moving on, what's the key idea? So the key idea is very simple. It's to create a spelling dictionary for all the languages. Uh, now you may ask what a spelling dictionary is. So as the name suggests, it's nothing. It's just a collection of spellings, of the valid spellings, of the correct spellings of various languages. And this is pretty important for all the lesser popular languages. For example, English, French, Spanish, German. These languages have huge spelling dictionaries. So every time you type something and a, 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 and the word is marked by a red underline, it is because the word is not recognized as a valid word, as a valid spelling by the editor. And all those words which are not marked red are valid spellings, and they are validated by cross-checking a spelling dictionary. But unfortunately, such spelling dictionaries exist only for the very popular languages, while the regional languages or the lesser known languages lack such uh, structures. The motivation is, first of all, to make information available to everyone. So if there might be people who know one language, but are interested in some uh, topic which does not have any content in their language or any uh, significant content in, the, in their language. And in such cases, we want translators to come in and act as mediators, translate the uh, original content into the local languages. And this would further reduce, remove the language barrier at all. I'll explain this using an example. So suppose I have a friend named Puba, and I ask, I ask Puba to translate some page because I was very interested in that topic. It may be something on, say, uh, astronomy. And I do not know English. I only know, say, my mother tongue, Hindi. And so Puba comes in and translates this page. And ultimately, the translated page looks like this. Because Hindi, is not, Hindi might not have a very nice spelling dictionary. And so every word that Puba types for me in order to translate the page might appear with a red underline. And this ultimately ends up in this situation where Fubar is so frustrated because every other word is, red under, is marked by a red underline, while Fubar knows that the words were all valid, the spellings were all valid. And so in order to provide a better translating environment for everyone, for the contributors, we decided to build a, build a structure where people can come together and collaborate and build spelling dictionaries for the less popular languages. Now, because we're clear with why is it important and what is it, uh, let me quickly explain how did we go about making this. So we definitely needed uh, a portal where one could add the words, add the spellings. So suppose I know Hindi, and suppose I know some other language as well, maybe uh, uh, some regional language like Gujarati uh, in India. And I want to improve the collection of valid spellings in that language. So I, I'll just go, go and access the portal. It's like a form. I'll, add the, I'll enter the words, the spellings, and I'll press enter, and the words get added to a table. Now, uh, we also needed an admin panel. So the entire extension is broken down into two, two pieces. One is the user dashboard, where you can come and add the spellings. The other is the admin dashboard, where the admins can come and moderate the words which are being added. Uh, the next problem was of storing the spellings. So uh, rather than building something new from the scratch, we proceeded with, uh, with the creating a new table in the installed version of MediaWiki on our system. So this uses the database of MediaWiki and it just creates a new table and enters all the, uh, all the spellings that come from the users into that table. And also, MediaWiki has a wonderful API for all the developers who want to develop anything. So uh, also, there's this one admin special page. These special pages are uh, Special pages are the things like you, you can directly enter and access the backend using the special pages. Not access, like you can add information, you can add relevant and uh, meaningful information using these special pages. 
and these make the entire uh, access to media wiki quite friendly for anyone who does not even have a development background who does not have a coding background so i used the media wiki admin special page so that uh, this maintains the consistency and anyone who wants to build up on the extension can follow the same guidelines as in the original thing uh, this is the user dashboard it's a very plain simple thing where you can add into a word and you select the language and you submit it and here is the admin dashboard where the person the admin can have a look at all the words which have been entered they can directly they can import and export the list of words they can delete the words from the database uh, so, so all such utilities it has been changed a bit now this is a little old picture and then the challenges that were being that were faced while we were developing this extension so the first thing was what source should we use in order to fill in the words in the dictionary? One possibility that we had was to uh, directly use the words, like there's one very huge spelling dictionary called Hanspel, but Hanspel is again very rich in the popular languages and has very sparse data for the lesser popular languages. So that option was straight away discarded where we could use uh, existing, spelling, uh, existing spelling dictionaries, bring them together and uh, collate the data. So therefore, in aligning ourselves with the principle on which the Wikimedia, Wikimedia Foundation works, we decided that we make this entire thing collaborative and we'll ask the users who are fluent in some language to add the spellings of their own languages. The second challenge was, uh, so say someone wants to add some spellings in a language, but they do not enter the valid spellings. For example, this cat, this, this cat could be a mischievous one and say that I'll add spellings using the cat language, which does not exist and does not make sense. And in order to solve the second problem, that uh, we introduced the admin panel. So admin uh, dashboard was not primarily a concern in the beginning. It was only after we decided, we thought that this could be a reason, a problem that could come up later. We decided to move on with the admin panel. And the, uh, okay, I'll come to that later. Uh, the advantages of building such an extension is first that every time someone enters words and spellings in the dictionary it uh, keeps on helping to grow the spelling repositories for even the lesser popular languages and secondly definitely that once you have, uh, like once you remove the red underlines once we integrate this dictionary in editors with the editors the red underlines would be reduced removed uh, basically and that would provide a better translation environment for the translators, thus promoting translation and helping others who do not know a particular language, who, do, who might not know a very popular language in reading some article. Uh, the future work in this extension is uh, as follows. Right now, the extension works on local wiki. So if you have a wiki installed on your system or on your local machine, you can add words, you can access the extension and add words, it will be added on your local database. Uh, we are planning to install it on a, on a server where you can directly go and access the URL and the form comes up on your screen and you can directly add words to it, like, uh, like you do to any other wiki page. The second thing is uh, adding the valid spellings in database. This is uh, for something uh, where Right now, the individuals can add the spellings and you'll have the database on your local repositories. What we're trying to do is, even if this goes on for some time, so suppose the Chinese community comes up uh, together and adds spellings to the Chinese, uh, spelling dictionary in the Chinese language, and uh, say the Korean community comes together, the Asian community comes together, and we have these local uh, mutually exclusive spelling sets. We are planning to like integrate them all together in a common in a common dictionary, which can then be used with editors in future. This third point is a is a huge step as a future work because it integrates the spelling dictionary to visual editor. Visual editor is the specific editor that you see whenever you edit a page on Wikipedia or MediaWiki or any wiki site, and integrating it to visual editor would would be as good as integrating it to a Google Doc or something, where you, where, you, where you edit the things online, where you translate things online, and it will check in real time if the spelling that you're entering is valid or not, and therefore remove the red underlines if it's present in the spelling dictionary that has just been created. And fourth one is adding spellings using language text. What this means is that 
there are huge and there are rich language texts available. For example, books in a particular language. We can definitely uh, utilize those books, those resources, and those te textual information to extract all the words which are present in that text and add them to the, la to the spelling dictionary. Now, after knowing all of this, say you would want to help, and that's great for us. So we have uh, the two domains. One, we can code. In which case, you can help us improve the extension, you can add new features, and you can integrate it with your own wiki. And in case you're unable to uh, code, like you don't have a coding background, but you are a language expert and a pro in that, you can add spellings to the extension, you can be a language moderator. Being a language moderator means that uh, like you're expert in your language, and you can go and check for the spellings which have been added by the other users in your community and see if the spelling is valid or not. If valid, you approve it. If not, you delete the spelling or mark it for uh, a review. And you can help in outreach. So there are still communities which do not know of such an extension which exists. And there are still communities which do not have lots of spelling page of lots of wiki pages in their language. There are still communities which do not have in access to information because of the language barriers. So you can help in outreach where people, uh, where the linguists, at least the bilinguals in such communities can help add the spellings of their uh, language and thus, thus promote the translation. Also, uh, being a developer, if you help integrate this extension with your wiki, you're automatically uh, promoting those other three, po uh, other three points, where a uh, user in your community might not be a developer, but might be a language expert. And in order to learn more, these are the links. The first is the link of the extension, where you can find the details of how can you install this, and how do you set this up on your local system. The second is the link uh, of the get it uh, repo, where, which you can fork and push back your comments into this in order to contribute if you have any feature uh, suggestion or if you have any bug fixes or any improvement. And uh, if you're motivated and if you want to develop, if you have some idea and you want to develop your own extension, you can follow this last link where uh, it's, it's a very detailed tutorial for anyone, even if you're a beginner, and you can write your own extensions. So that's it. Any question? Okay. So because you don't have any questions coming up, uh, can I can I have a rough idea of how many people are from which uh, wiki community? Like, is there anyone who is uh, remotely associated with Wikimedia or uh, any wiki community for that matter? Oh, we have one. Okay, and the second one. And uh, but you guys are biased, right? <laughs> that's that's cheating. No, we, we met during the conference. <coughs> really? Yes. So just by accident. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then it counts. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So uh, and also, you guys, uh, like, can you have some count of which languages you know? Like, roughly. Punjabi. Punjabi. Okay. English. Sorry. English. What's that? Okay. Sorry. Would that be a language to you? English. Uh, if you really want text content in that language, well, yes. But you'll have to start. That's true. I see what you're trying to do here. Like, well, who, who can add some language stuff? Like, if, if you really are interested and uh, if you really want that uh, to be uh, an officially recognized language, you can start it on your own, and you can have other people collaborate. And other languages, other than English, uh, what all languages do we know here in the audience? Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. We have very less content in Indonesian. It would be great if you could uh, uh, either help us improve the content here, or redirect us to people who could uh, do help us with that, so that we can help everyone who knows Indonesian but not English or any other foreign language, like a very popular language. Uh, get access to a lot of important stuff. Yeah. Well, that's it from my side. Any questions? Uh, I have a uh, media website, my okay. own media website, uh, okay. written in Japanese. And I want to uh, build some uh, bilingual, uh, convert it uh, to bilingual uh, media site. So what, what is the best way to uh, build some multilingual Wikimedia site? Some uh, extension or some other technology. Okay, so there are two different methods. 
One is uh, you either use content translation, that might be helpful, right? Uh, where you can directly ask people to come and help you translate text from your website if it's a static one. Or if it's something like a wiki page, what you might do is uh, you have this concept of internationalization in MediaWiki, where you have one directory in which you have JSON files for every different language. And uh, you have some key value pairs, the key remains same in every language, well, the value changes according to the language. So for example, a hello text would be a hello keyword, and in English JSON file, it would be hello exclamation mark. In the Japanese JSON file, would be the value would be something. Hello. Yeah, something for hello. Which is uh, extension of may use. Yeah, so this is, uh, the, uh, this is the concept of internationalization. You just add JSON files. So anyone who, like if you have uh, an English JSON file for your language in your uh, website, someone who knows some other language can help, uh, can contribute to the other languages. And that builds up the things. Also there are lots of common strings which are, all, are like already available. So uh, like words like thank you and stuff, they're already available across the MediaWiki uh, language database. So you can directly use those as well. We can talk about that often as well. By when do you plan to put it on the server? Uh, can collaborate. The press is still going on, and uh, yeah, I think I think by the end of the semester, semester season for me, in a month or so, okay, it should be up. Anything else? Okay, that's that's it. Thanks very much.